The absence of justice, O Gunjabi, has stalled the hearing between Lagos State Government, Sea Global, and South Energy over the Ocean City project. Council to Sea Global Energy, Michael Zekome, senior advocate of Nigeria, said Lagos State is asking for a consolidation of the case and another one before Justice Oyefeso. Our correspondent, Justin, Justin Akadeye, has more. Mike Ozekome, SAN, said the coastal property which spans from Aditukumbo Ademola to Amad Bellaway in Victoria Island was given to his clients in 2003 when President Lucia Gobasanjo was in power. Ozekome wonders why a company, South Energics Nigeria, promoters of a cool Atlantic project aided by the Lagos State Government would start laying claims to over 10,000 hectares of land. The senior advocate of Nigeria says the federal government has the power under sections 49 and 51 of the Land Use Act and under the Land Title Vesting Act of 1975 to donate to his client. He also claimed that the Lagos State Government had in 2004 and 2005 applied to the federal government to allow them to have a portion of the land close to his clients so as to help South Energy's company. When they tried to encroach upon our land, we went to court in 2018 in a suit pending before Justice Oyefeso, this same Lagos State High Court, High Court, sitting, I think, at Etiosa, claiming that we are the owners of the whole of that land, having been given the land voluntarily by the federal government of Nigeria. As the case was going on, we decided, that is, C Global, to start developing a portion of the land which is not the part of the land in dispute, measuring about 350 hectares outside the land in dispute that we went to court for. The lawyer said his client, Adeo Miyosagi, got hints that the state government had surreptitiously filed another action having similar elements with the same parties. Eventually, he filed a notice of preliminary objection, which Justice Ogunjobi granted. Then suddenly, just on Friday, 27th of this month, we got a letter from the same law office representing um, the other party, that is South Energy, and Lagos State Government saying that they want this case transferred and consolidated with that one before just Oyefaso. Meaning that they are aware of the similarity between those matters which we have been arguing. But we have attacked that letter with a response to the Chief Judge that that cannot be done. Council to South Energies and Lagos State Government were not available for comment. The case has been adjourned to July the 4th, 2022. Justin Akadonye, Plus TV News, Lagos. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.